The Elves and the Shoemaker by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm There was once a shoemaker who through no fault of his own became so poor that he had nothing left but leather for one pair of shoes. In the evening he cut out the shoes so they would be ready to work on the next morning. Then he said his prayers, lay down, and fell asleep. In the morning he said his prayers again and sat down to work. But to his surprise, he saw a pair of shoes all finished on the table. He looked them over very carefully and found them so well made that every stitch was perfect. Soon a customer came in, and because the shoes pleased him, he paid more than the usual price for them. With this money, the shoemaker was able to buy leather for two pair of shoes. He cut them out in the evening, and in the morning he was about to go to work again, but there was no need for him to work, for two pairs of shoes stood on the table already finished. Before long, people came in to buy the shoes, and they paid so well for them that the shoemaker was able to buy leather for four pairs. Again, he cut out the shoes in the evening, and again in the morning he found them all beautifully made. So it went on. Whatever the shoemaker cut out at night was finished in the morning. Soon he was making plenty of money, and at last was becoming rich. One evening, not long before Christmas, the shoemaker said to his wife, How would it be if we stayed up tonight and watched to see who is helping us? The wife agreed. She lighted a candle and they hid behind some coats that were hanging in the corner. They waited and watched. At midnight, they saw two little men come in and seat themselves at the shoemaker's table. They had scarcely any clothes on. They took up the leather that was cut out and set to work with their nimble little fingers, stitching and hammering so quickly that the shoemaker's eyes could scarcely follow them, and they didn't stop until everything was finished and the shoes stood ready on the table. Then the little men jumped up and ran away. The next day the wife said to her husband, Those poor little men have made us rich, and we ought to do something for them. They must be very cold running about without any clothes on. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll make them little shirts and vests and trousers and knit each of them a pair of stockings and you shall make each of them a pair of shoes. The husband thought this was a good plan. Everything was made ready and on Christmas Eve the presents were laid out on the table instead of the usual work. Then the shoemaker and his wife hid in the corner where they could watch the little men. When midnight came, the elves rushed in, ready to set to work. When they found instead of pieces of leather, the neat little clothes laid ready for them, at first they were astonished, and then they were delighted. Quickly they put on the pretty clothes, and as they dressed they sang, We're well-dressed boys as all can see. No longer shoemakers are we. Then they skipped and danced about, jumping over chairs and tables, and at last they danced out the door. From that time they never came back, but all went well with the shoemaker, and he succeeded in everything he did. The End <laughs>